This video was made possible by Surfshack, the best VPN on the market. another one of our favorite neighborhoods in Lisbon videos because we love so many neighborhoods here in Lisbon. Today we are starting in Chirim di Estrela so you go figure that this is a video about Estrela. So the reason why we're starting in this garden here is because it is uh, one of the most beautiful gardens in Lisbon. You know you don't have many uh, gardens in general here in Lisbon so Having this uh, botanic-like garden in the middle of Estrella is something that makes this area a very nice neighborhood because it's almost big enough for you to go for a, a run if you like running in circles. <laughs> I think uh, my favorite thing about the garden here is that when you order a wine glass, they pour it up to here. <laughs> Amelie, we have to talk about Estrella and the location. Where are we? Where, where is this place? And, and why is this a neighborhood that we have been even considering moving to? So it was actually the more wealthy people who established this area. And they started from the church and then slowly they developed the entirety of this little neighborhood. It is also an area where you see a lot of families moving. It's definitely a family area. And it's mostly families from the upper middle class to the upper class or expats who live here. Even though it's not in the historical center, it's still like a very central area of Lisbon. And it's definitely an area where you find, yeah, upper class, so mostly. That's why we never ended up, <laughs> that's why we don't live here. <laughs> One thing about Lisbon that is extremely confusing is the arrangement of neighborhoods here because uh, Estrella is a neighborhood, but we still haven't figured out how it works because if you look at a map over uh, neighborhoods here, it's like Ashuda, Belém, Alcantara, but Alfama is not a... Uh, 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 a neighborhood and that's why today that we will be exploring Estrella but also Lapa which is in our opinion a neighborhood as well but and it's inside Estrella yeah it's inside Estrella one of the reasons why it's so difficult to figure it out is because that there is the old way of thinking neighborhoods and there's a new way because in 2002 they made like new quarters of the city but Lapa and Estrella still has Lapa and Estrella on the post numbers so it's because they probably want to centralize it all. So like, okay, we're oh gonna yeah, we're gonna out. we're gonna like put all these uh, areas, and then yeah. now it's just one, which oh. is which is uh, ridiculous in yeah. my opinion. I really love this garden, and actually, mostly Spuetas, they love this garden. They love it so much that it has been rated the number one favorite garden here in Lisbon. So uh, bring your beer, bring your... <laughs> bring your beer, bring your dog and bring your kids because yeah. everything is allowed here and that's kind of nice and you feel it. It's so relaxing. I don't think you can boost uh, in public actually. You cannot boost in public it's anymore. It's a new rule. It was always there, Jon, but now they're enforcing it apparently. Really? Mm -hmm. That's one place where Denmark is better than Portugal. Guys, do you cross the street without looking? 
And do you prefer to drive your car without a seatbelt? If no, then you probably also want to surf the internet without risking your own safety. And that's why you need Surfshark VPN on both your laptop and your mobile phone. Surfshark VPN is like an invisible code that makes you free from all the swindlers and digital warriors of the virtual planet of ours. Especially when using public Wi-Fi on restaurants, on hotels, or wherever you really are. In today's world, Surfshark VPN is just as important as locking your front door. But Surfshark VPN doesn't only keep your online presence neutral and safe, it also gives you a ton of cool benefits. Impressive. Very nice. How about unlocking Netflix content? from across the entire planet. Heck yes! Because the thing is that the content you find on Netflix varies from country to country. For example, we do use Surfshark to watch Danish content that otherwise wouldn't have been available here in Portugal. That can be on Netflix, but that can be any content that is geo-restricted. Geo -restrict <laughs> right now you get 85% off Surfshark VPN if you use our code STAY CLASSY. That is only one dollar and 77 cents a month and you even get three months for free bam by the way it's the cheapest vpn on the market surfshark has a 30-day money-back guarantee so go do it so apparently you can actually uh, get up there and um, it's supposed to be there's supposed to be an amazing view from up there actually So one thing that Estrella is very famous for is all the quirky concept stores and interior stores and galleries that they have here. This is also one of the places where Jon and I, we love to come and find vintage stuff for our house. You know, stuff we don't need, but that we really kind of need. It's such a pity that Midmat is closed today because in here, the guy who has this store has so many cool items in here. They have everything from an authentic Kill Bill poster to these big uh, rattan uh, 70s chairs. We saved money today, Amelia. Yes, we do. That's good. So instead of spending a ton of money today, we can appreciate the other aesthetic pleasing place we are because everything here in Estrella is so beautiful. In general, Generally, all these buildings are so pretty, they are so well maintained. And I think it's also partly because the people who established the area were super wealthy. So they built something really expensive and nice from the beginning of. Uh, they have an elevator. <laughs> so you just uh, drive your car in here and then it goes down. And then they probably have a much bigger uh, garage. I want to be a witch. You are a witch. You just Amelia. <laughs> so Amelia has dragged me into a vegetarian place against my will. We want to show um, uh, the the hip side of of, of uh, Estrella because this place where we are now is like kind of a um, indicative of the people that live here in Estrella because it's it's expats. It's young people. Uh, who don't always want to eat Portuguese, who prefer the healthy uh, BS lifestyle that I like to call it. <laughs> but most of all families. Yeah, right? but one thing that I have to talk about is that um, these tiny beers here, because the reason why I, I said <laughs> in Denmark where I'm from, we only, drink, we only drink pints. I mean, it has to be half a liter. Otherwise, you're a, you're not a man. But the reason why they drink these small ones, I learned recently, is that you drink them fast enough for them not to be warm, because we are in a warm climate. So now you're okay with it? I'm not in town. I I mean I'd always drink fast enough uh, to have a ma caneca. Yeah, you do. Uh, but I get the idea. But the inconvenience is that you have to basically ask them to come with a new one every three minutes because it's gone. You know, Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Precisely seven and one half minutes after that, you're going to bring us two more. Then two more after that, every five minutes until one of us passes the f out. 
So it is true that I fooled Jon into eating vegetarian food today. Normally that's a no-go for Jon. But I wanted to try this place because this place basically symbolized what Estrella Lapa everything is all about. Because the people who live here are the creative people who are thinking in new ways. There's a lot of expats, there's a lot of modern young families with kids. And that also means that you see a lot of uh, different cafes and boutiques. So apparently Amelia is trying to tell me that I look like a rabbit. Because this is rabbit food. And it's spicy, no? You know, I feel like I'm becoming too much Portuguese. I've noticed it over the last couple of um, months. I only want to go to Portuguese restaurants. And I even caught myself saying that Portuguese football fans are much better than English football fans. You are ready to find our citizenship yours. Like, that's when they hit me, like, oh my god, I am Portuguese. I just need to learn the language. Um chegou de bicicleta, outro foi de marcha ré. Quando os teus olhos tropeçam no voo de uma gaivota, em vez de peixe vê peças de ouro caindo na lota. Quem é que vier morar não traga mesa nem cama. Com sete palmos de terra se constrói uma cabana. Tu trabalhas todo ano na lota, deixam-te mudo. Chupam-te até ao tutano, levam-te o couro cabludo. Quem dera que a gente tenha de Agostinha valentia Para alimentar a senha, desganar a burguesia Adeus disse a Monte Gordo, nada aprenda ao mal passado So right now we are sitting in front of the National Parliament building. This is where they rule the entirety of Portugal. This is where... Uh, you know, the historical part of, of, of Lisbon really starts. Yes. What's unique about Estrela is that it's, it's, it's not a, a place for tourists. It's, it's actually a quiet neighborhood. It's very residential. It's, uh, it's not filled with amazing restaurants, although you do have one of the uh, best Michelin restaurants in Portugal called Loco. Um, and another very famous restaurant called Club de Journalista. And the reason why we, we love Estrella so much is because it namely is without tourists. Um, although like if I have to be you know negative or critical, then I would say that, that, that it doesn't have the same soul as Ajuda, for example. Well, you don't have the old population because you only have all the families and it's definitely a more expensive area here mm. compared to Ajuda. But then at the same time, I feel like both places has, their, has its charm. Estrella is a kind of a big uh, area, so big that we need to take an Uber to go to the next place. And that is this place, uh, a place that we hold very dearly um, because we almost bought an apartment here. This one was very close to become our new home and our project of the life probably. Because when we went here, to look at the apartment on the third floor. It was absolutely worn down and all we really wanted was to take this apartment and fix it up. The only reason we didn't do it was because of the sound of the airplanes. Yeah. Because it's very noisy here, the airplanes. They come, uh, you, can see the, you can see the bridge here. So basically they just come in and you know, back when people were traveling, it would be coming, every second minute would be like, That's how it sounds. I do like to think of this part of Estrella as the hidden gem of Estrella because here you have fewer expats and a lot of local actual Portuguese people and there is this like charm to this part that I'm in love with but I think we should sit down and have a little something something and talk a little about how it is to live here prices kind of housing everything. Do we know anything about that? Yes. the airplanes Amelia this I mean 
I don't know what it is, but there are just certain areas, as soon as you step in that surrounding or in that space, you just feel calm and at home. And I always had that feeling with this particular square. I mean, I wish that we could live here without the noise of the airplane. Lisbon is a very, very noisy city because you have the bridge and the bridge make a constant humming sound. But this would definitely be my second pick after I shoot them. Cheers. This entire area is from an era where they build houses with super high ceilings and it's super big apartments with the long hallways and not so many balconies. They are starting to do the roof balconies here, so you can find that, but it's not easy. What also characterizes this area is that it's not only the ceiling that are high, it's also the prices. We looked at an apartment, um, well, that one, but also another one, a rental one, and it was 2650, 2650 euros. And it was nice, but it wasn't any, anything, you know, wow. Uh, and and uh, the prices have gone down a little bit, but in general, I find that Estrella is overpriced um, because everybody wants to, to, to come here, I guess, so it makes sense. But it's just, you get much more in Ashuda. Uh, we could spend uh, many days uh, exploring Estrella, but the conclusion of, of what this neighborhood is, at least to us, is that this is just one of the most tranquil and beautiful areas, uh, neighborhoods of, of Lisbon. Estrella is a place you get lost in the streets. There's nothing left to say than uh, if you like beauty, come to Estrella, because it definitely is beautiful. Other than that, obrigada por ver o vídeo. Até logo! Obrigadinho! And até logo! Yeah.